RAF Winthorpe was uh, a wartime training base. Um, hosted a unit called 1661 Heavy Conversion Unit, which was an innovative training scheme that was introduced by Five Group because they wanted to make sure that the crews would have received better training before they went on to an operational squadron. Yeah. It's quite an innovative um, approach to training. And what was really interesting about Winthorpe is that throughout the war, probably every six weeks, you were getting between six to eight hundred new airmen coming from all over the world to train and learn their skills as an air crew at what was RAF Winthorpe. So those crews could be coming from Canada, from Australia, New Zealand, a few South Africans, Rhodesians, a truly international collection of airmen that were coming to Nottinghamshire and learning their skills and training, as I say, to be a bomber crew. Post Winthorpe, Five Group A added in an extra level of training whereby they went to something called Lancaster Finishing School, which was just up the road at RAF Syston. All the time, I guess you'd use the analogy of investing in the training to make sure that they've got the right skills to go out on operations. The unusual aspect about training is that in a lot of occasions the operational squadrons can be grounded because of bad weather, but the training crews have got to learn how to fly in bad weather. So they could be flying in sometimes adverse weather conditions when others would be grounded. And that's where a lot of losses came about. The training side became a bit of a Cinderella part of the Air Force. It wasn't really exciting, you know, it was a little bit boring in some respects, but without that training and learning those skills, you didn't have the crews that went on to Bomber Command. And we're really proud of our connections with those crews and their families today. Um, we've got a number of crews um, that we've helped research the histories for those and we're really proud of being able to help people develop and expand and understand those links um, to the past and, and moving on to the future.